Okay, The Art of Drumming, Volume 1, reading text in 4-4. Today we're going to work with page 9, and it's just a continuation as uh, the math grows or the notation grows, you get familiar, more and more familiar with the various uh, possibilities of notation. Anyway, um, what I'm going to say in the beginning, usually in the beginning of every video, what is highly recommended is playing full strokes, alternating the strokes. The object of that, that my right hand and my left hand sound the same. This we don't want. Right hand, left hand. Now, if you notice, there's no dynamic markings or there's no accents, so the notes should all sound the same. And it's essential that you count. Now, I'll break it down measure by measure as slow as possible, or not as slow as slowly as possible, I guess. I, I guess. All right, we're on page nine, measure number one. Just straight eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. All right, Me line one, measure number two. One and two and three and four. Four and line one, measure number three, the line of eighth notes. One and two and three and four and line one, measure number four. One and two and three, four. Now you have an option here. I can maintain an eighth note count throughout this or count the downbeat as is. For example, if I have two quarter notes and four eighth notes, I would count one, two, three, and four, and. If you're not at all familiar with the reading, what I recommend is to count an eighth note count, which would make the spaces between the notes equal. Like I'll play the two quarter notes and the four eighth notes again, but this time I'll use an eighth note count. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Okay, so now we go to uh, line two, measure number one, and I'll count this as the downbeat. One, two, and three, and four, and. Now I'll do that again, but this time I'll count it in eighth note counting. One, and two, and three, and four, and. All right, now line two, measure number two, it's the same, the, first, the, the next three measures actually, the first three measures are all the same. So I'll play three measures and then stop, and then we'll go to the fourth measure. Okay, we'll do line two, uh, three measures. Here we go. One and boom. One, two, and three, and eighth no count. One and two, and three, and four. Court. One, as is, two, and three, and four, and. Okay, line two, measure number four. I'm going to play it as the downbeat, count it as the downbeat. One, and two, and three, four. Line three, measure number one. Again, there's three measures the same. So I'll count it as the downbeat, then I'll do it as eighth note count, or, or whatever comes to the third measure. Here we go. As the downbeat, one, two, three, and eighth note, one, and two, and three, and four, downbeat, one, two, three, and four, and. Okay, line three, measure number four. One, and two, and three, and four, and. All right, line uh, four, measure number one. One, and two, and three, and four. Line four, measure number two. One, two, and three, and four, and. Line four, measure number three. One, and two, and three, and four. Line four, measure number four. One, two, and three, and four, and. Line five, measure number one. One and two and three and four. 
one, then the second measure, two, and three, four. Third measure, one, and two, and three, four. Fourth measure, one, two, three, four. Okay, <coughs> line six, measure number one. One, two, and three, and four, and line six, measure number, well, I have the three measures the same on line six, the first three measures. So I'll start it again, and I'll play right through, and again, with the mixture of counting. Line six, one, play. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. Okay, line six, measure number four. As the downbeat. One and two and three, four. Line seven. Okay, as the downbeat, measure number one. One, two, three, and four, and. Line seven, the second measure is the same as the first. This one here I will count in the note count. So we line seven, measure number two. One and two and three and four. Four and line seven measure number three one two and three and four and line seven measure number four one and two three four line eight measure number one here we go one and two three four Line eight, measure number two, is the same as one, but this time what I'm going to do is count it in the eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. Line eight, measure number three, as the downbeat. One and two and three and four. Line eight, measure number four. One, two and three and four. Four. Okay, so that completes page nine. Uh, and remember, alternate the strokes, no accents, the right hand and the left hand sound the same. The bass drum pattern is optional. You can play, uh, you don't have to, once, first you need to learn the rhythmic pattern, then put the bass drum, is recommended on one, two, three, four. Or you could put some foot ostinatos in there, like one, the samba pattern, the biome, like one, one and two and three, four, one, ah, 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 what a clave. Whatever, but first learn how to read it. And then you could have a whole lot of fun, we could expand on it. So that takes care of page nine. Now, what I'm doing is running this special. <coughs> I'm gonna leave all, first of all, I'm gonna leave all my information uh, when I upload the video on the bottom of the video, my live online lesson website address, my email, my Skype contact, and my Facebook contact. What I'm doing is running a special on my books and if you visit my site, the live online lesson site, you go to my products room and you'll see four publications. The Art of Drumming, Reading Text in 4-4, that's the volume one. Then the Art of Drumming, Reading Text, volume two, which is in 6-8. And I have two additional publications. One is Rudimental Fun and the other one is Ostinato Patterns. Now, if you feel so inclined to purchase any of the books. If you buy two or more books, I am going to give you an additional 20% discount. Even if you buy one, it's 20% discount. You go to the end of the page, you see a code. When upon purchasing, you can put the code in there. So that will give you a 20% discount. In addition to that, the 20% discount, uh, like I said, two or more books, I will give you a one on one free Skype lesson. My contact information will be at the end of the video. 
and, and it's optional, whichever you choose, a Skype lesson or a one month free uh, membership to my live online lesson site. And also, because I'm leaving the contact information, any kind of feedback would be appreciated. For example, uh, maybe I'm doing it too fast or I'm not uh, going with my explanation in depth. So whatever feedback you would like, uh, you know, want me to quit playing drums, or whatever it might be, okay? It would be really appreciated. So with saying all of that, I'm going to close it up and we shall continue. Thank you very much.